So here's another tool for your living room drills. This is called the swing guide. I'm sure you've seen this before. Um, it's very, very easy to adjust to your club, um, but that's a different story. I just actually want to show you what it's good for and how you can practice it at home. It's always good to grip it a little bit shorter. It depends how low your ceiling is at home. So just grip it a little bit shorter. And of course the goal is to hit the left, for a right-hander, the left underarm um, due to the radial, um, a movement of your wrists, that wrist cock here, so to make it correct here. So this is something you can do at home and then you can really practice how your wrist is supposed to work. So just to make it right, I mean, we have two different kind of, of wrists in the golf swing. We have the flex extension and we also have the radial wrist cock here. And this is what the swing guide is mostly good for. So just to get this club set in the backswing with this kind of wrist cock here. And of course, we still have the goal that the, um, that the back of your hand is in a straight line to your underarm. But here we're practicing how to set the club um, with your wrist cock up to the end of the backswing. Okay? So as I said, this is something very, very good for home and for the winter time. So this is some kind of add-on to the swing guide drill. And you, you don't necessarily have to have the swing guide on your grip, but um, this exercise is for staying compact in your backswing with your arms connected to your, um, to your body. Um, so you take a thin towel and put it underneath um, your arms and um, you really try to get um, your backswing connected and um, it's actually perfect if you go to a three-quarter swing because by the end of the backswing, at some point, it's fine if you lift up your arm. So this would be a fantastic drill for a takeaway, for a halfway back position in your backswing, just to stay here connected with your arm straightened. Um, to stay connected here. But as I said, by the top of your backswing, it's absolutely okay if you lose your towel. It's a, it's a great exercise for pitching, actually, it's because there you don't have to take away um, the club in, a, in the full range. Three quarter, it's fantastic. And as I said, if you don't have the swing guide, it doesn't really matter. Just take a normal club, grip it shorter, and practice how it actually feels like if your arms are connected to your body in your takeaway. Because this is something what a lot of people don't even feel because the hands are far away from the body and there you actually get the feeling how it's where your arm's supposed to be at a dress. So it's very simple, it's a, it's a thin towel you can get it pretty much everywhere and fold it together and use it just as a connection point underneath your arms. So with all mobility and flexibility and tools for your golf swing, you should not forget of strengthening your muscles too and maybe get your muscle memory with a strengthening um, purpose in your golf swing. So here I got a rubber band. It's very, very simple. Um, you don't have to have a brand or something. Just take a simple rubber band and um, just take one foot onto it and the other one you just put back a tiny little bit. I'm just gonna stand like this, you can see better. And then of course you just turn and you keep your arm extended and you will see or you will feel how your core is working hard. So you can also do it of course with the other side. Every side should be practiced or should be trained the same way because you don't wanna have a weaker side. Um, we have that anyway. If you're a right-hander, it's mostly, you know, it's you have a much stronger right side in your core. You really have to take care of um, practicing and training both sides the same way. I mean, with the rubber band, you have a lot of strengthening um, exercises. Of course, you can strengthen your, sh strengthen your shoulders. You can um, practice the turn, as I said, the bigger turn as well. You can do it on both sides. Just be a little bit creative with that band. You can do a lot of nice exercises. Also, if you just have it in front of your, your chest and put your shoulder blades together, get in a nice posture and get this strengthened a little bit. You don't have to do that for, for a super long time. Yes, of course, and you can also just rotate your, your elbows in and out. You can stretch it to this side, to this side. I mean, there are so many ways you can do this. And you know what? 
every kind of movement is a better movement than no movement, right? So just move and keep on strengthen, strengthening your muscles because uh, this is something you can always take power from in the season when you have to hit golf, a lot of golf balls or play a lot of golf rounds. So a rubber band is a super good tool also for the summer in your golf bag to warm up in the locker room and also on the driving range if you want to. Um, but this is something um, what I can always recommend for training, for warm up, and just to, to loosen up or even to strengthen. Okay, so now I showed you a few more um, exercises for your living room. I'm sure you're gonna have a lot of things to do and maybe gonna have a little bit of muscle ache. Um, just let me know how you like it and if you do it at home. And now I wish you all the best and of course, have fun practicing. <laughs>